welcome this is Kara it's been a while since I've done a video like this I have a massive Dollar Tree junk journal Dollar Tree haul did and she was talking about a Dollar Tree challenge it's been I know I did one six years ago dear Julie Julie and I did one we also did another one with paper terrace like I don't remember if it's two years six years but anyway I'll have those linked I might put a card or have them linked in the description. I have playlists. There's a Christmas one, a Halloween one, and a springish one. Okay, so I went shopping. And as I was shopping, <laughs> I started seeing different themes that I could do for the challenge. And uh, I went a little nuts. So I'm going to show you some things, some basic things that if it, this is your first challenge and you've never made a dollar, a Dollar Tree journal or a journal that I think you should grab. So this would be a great video to watch before you head out to Dollar Tree. Now, if you are overseas, I think there's something called Poundland or something and other areas I'm sure have thrift stores or something where you could do a similar thing. Okay, for the Paper Terrace Challenge, she's upped it from a few years ago since Dollar Tree is up to their price. It's now $20, which is roughly 16 items. Um, she's not a, a stickler for rules, nor am I, <laughs> as you will see. Um, and so you can use your own supplies, that kind of thing. I will link her informational video in the description also, so she can give you the rules for her challenge. She has a prize and all that kind of stuff. I'm thinking with what I have here, I'm not only going to do the challenge, but then I have some really fun ideas in mind for ways to use Dollar Tree items in your junk journal. So it's going to continue on into the future because I bought all this stuff. I might as well use it. Okay. So I have like five, six bags to go through. So grab an iced tea or a cup of coffee. All right. First thing, I grabbed our some baby wipes. These are perfect if you need to clean up your, your work surface and your hands. I ran out and I need them. <laughs> the other one is very, they have instant coffee at Dollar Tree, but I wanted to try um, tea dyeing some pages. I hate coffee dyeing and tea dyeing. I hate it. But I'm going to give it a go. Um, and I have a fun way that I want to do this. And then I also want to use some of the tea bags um, for decoration. All right. So right now we're not counting the items that I'm doing for the challenge. We'll, we'll come back to that. These are just basic items that if you're going to Dollar Tree and you're new to junk journaling, I think you should grab. The next one are these six clasp envelopes. There's, um, I mean, there's six of them. It doesn't have six clasps. <laughs> there's six in the package. And these, I'm going to open this one. I love to use as journal covers. So you can fold it. I've made journals like this before. I'll see if I can link that somewhere too. Um, like this. And then you have a pocket here. You could even cut this and have a pocket. So it's a really fun way to make a journal cover. So I'm going to do that. Also, I'm trying to find a place to put all these. Great place to get um, books and then also use the pages in the books. This one, I'm not so excited about the width of the spine, um, you, but you can also, you know, get cardboard and make a wider spine. And the hardback books at the different tr Dollar Trees I went to, which I think I went to four, <laughs> I wasn't impressed with the, the hardback books. There was a lot of soft cover books, but not a lot of hard cover books. All right, and then, uh, let's see what else. This paper pack is awesome. It's awesome. It has, you might even need to grab two. And I have a couple ideas besides your tags and your different pieces of ephemera that you can use for the challenge. I have like there's even like glitter paper and they're really fun. They're like handmade papers. A lot of that color, so it'd be great for a Halloween journal. And even look at this one, like this sparkly. I don't know if you can see it in the light. 
there's pearlescent. So you never know what you're gonna get, right, in each pack. So that's why for $1.25, look at that pretty color. It's pretty on the back too. Um, you might wanna grab a couple packs because there's a ton of the same um, color, which is great, again, if you're doing a, a darker themed journal, but it's spring. <laughs> So you might want to do a spring themed. Okay, next one, paper bags, because you can make these. Should I just open these two? I'm doing a crafty girl style video. <laughs> I love that. I love that girl, that crafty girl. I'm doing a crafty girl video. So you can uh, fold these, and then you can even take several of these, bind them together, and then you have an art journal. Pretty fun. All right, put those back in there. And, oh, oh, I'm losing things. Copy paper, I got some copy paper. This is eight and a half by 11, but I was trying to see how many pounds. Uh, 20 pounds, so it's really not that, it's just regular copy paper. It's not very th thick, like cardstock. Okay, this, if you find this, you want to get it every time you go. No, just kidding. But this lace is the best for any, any junk journal. Like this is a must if you're a junk journal. Junk journal. <laughs> you, you really, yeah, hordes, hordes of those. That's a, on the list for sure. All right, and then composition notebooks. This I'm going to use with the tea dye, but I'm going to do it in a different way. Then, well, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see. All right, paper clips. Uh, not paper clips. These are safety pins. I really don't like these, but I got them. They fall apart. I think for a similar price, I would rather get bulk see if I can say this, bulk bulb pins on Amazon. And I recently bought some, so I'll link those. Um, I think it's better. These fall apart, but I got them. All right, and another one is this. There's this this one, and then they have one that has the lines. Um, they, I, I don't really like the one, either one of these, but I got it for the challenge. I don't know why. <laughs> But I got it for the challenge, so there you go. And then parchment paper. Yes, while we're tea dyeing, we might as well tea dye some of this because the sound, for one, is awesome. And then when you tea dye it, it's even better. And you can make pockets and envelopes and, you know, all of the things. All right, and then envelopes, because you can always make little journals with envelopes and tuck spots, pockets, all the things again. Um, playing cards, I was really surprised. Oops, it's ripped, it's $1.25. But they had different styles of cards and I picked this one because it's a fun spring color. Um, but I was surprised, they had several with different colored backs, which is really nice. And I think these are fun, the, I'm trying to get this so you can see. But the corners, they're like a tag. You know, you could use this as a a tag, um, what am I trying to say? A tag template. <laughs> Words are hard. Okay, and then look what I found. Floral wire. What? This, I don't know what gauge it is. You know, I think it says. But it's floral wire, and if you have... And Dollar Tree might sell them, I didn't look. But if you have wire um, pliers, you know that you use for beads, you could use this and make little dangles to go on your safety pins or your paper clips that mine just fall on the ground, so I'll have to grab them. All right, note cards. They have the extra large note cards, and then right now they have these colors, also very fun. All right, so those are kind of the, oh, and this. This photo album, I, I, I have grabbed these so many times because I've wanted to make different things and make videos with them. But 
they have pockets and you can tear them apart and then you can use these pockets in your um, in your other journal, right? Or you could take out all the inserts and then this could be a cover. So I wanna, I wanna do that because I keep saying I wanna do that and then I forget. And then my package of paper clips on the ground, let me grab them. Okay, so this one has 70 different colors. They also have the silver, and then different times of year they have different colors. All right. <laughs> so now we get into where I went a little nuts. Um, so I'm going through the Dollar Tree and <laughs> I keep seeing different themes pop into my head as I'm going to the store. And yesterday I went to a store and my son was with me. Oh, I should not have brought him. He was he was in misery. He was like, Mom, is it time to go? I'm like, no, he's still looking. Okay, my first one, uh, I think if it was a different time of year, I would have found more things. I feel like these are the leftovers from last year of this theme, but it would be fun to do. And that's farm. Farm, you know, like farm, house, farm kind of thing. Okay, so we have this fabric, the check fabric, along with the ribbon that's black and white. They have these in different colors, red and white, I think. And then I saw this with the strawberries and the calendar. I know that Dear Julie Julie uses these all the time in her uh, journals. And then right now you can get four for one seed packets. So I got carrots and then this fabric scrap pack. <clears throat> uh, at another Dollar Tree, I saw the individual rolls like this, with this and this. So I, I remember these from last year. Um, and then are these the rub-ons? Yeah. So these are some rub-ons. We have, uh, farmhouse and then some of these and then of course we have like the cow or the bull is that a bull no that's a a scotland one i think right anyway so the fun thing is there and then they have this placemat and i think this would make a cool cover for a journal so i want to do that and then score look at this a year in the country you gotta check out the books in Dollar Tree. You never know. So this has, and this is gonna be great for several themes, uh, the farm theme, but we have spring in here. If you wanted to do a flower theme, I mean, yeah. And yes, it has shiny pages, but I'll show you a way to, the cows, perfect for farm. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and then if you did a fall, like this book is awesome. Awesome find. Um, but I have a way to make it so they're not so shiny that I stole from, what's her name? What's her name? I'll think of it and I'll put it in the thingy later. Um, okay, so that's the farm theme. Okay, I know, I mean, it's Easter, spring, so of course they're going to have all the stuff for spring. So we have some butterflies that you can use as embellishments. They have napkins, butterflies, um, gingham. They also had it in like a peach color. And Rick Rack. These mushrooms that are very cool. And if you have a little drill, you can drill a hole in the top. And put one of those, I think they're called eye screws, eye screws, is that it? And then you can make a dangle. But if you don't have that, look at what else I found. These are foam. So you could probably just put a pulpy tool in there and use an eye thingy, eye screw, and make dangles from that. Pretty cool. Um, spring color wooden beads for dangles. <clears throat> stamps. This I found at one store. And then this one. Isn't that beautiful? Let me see. It. It's kind of here. Excuse me. Here we go. The light. There we go. That one's really pretty. <clears throat> of course, fabric scraps with butterflies. And these faux uh, wax seal stickers. And then this sticker pet sticker pack for garden. 
Perfect. Don't forget to look at your stencils. We got some butterflies here. So this could be butterflies or garden. Like I could separate it out because there's probably enough to do one or the other. And then I saw these and they're reusable bags for snacks. But I thought, oh, that might be kind of a fun thing to cut apart and have a funky type of pocket. So I got that. Um, more of these rubbons, but with the flowers. And then I bought these two gift bags. And I loved both of the prints. One is floral and one butterflies. So again, I could do either or. Or both. And then I bought for the four, I bought, but I picked out flowers for this one. And then Baker's Twine in spring colors. And I bought some eyeshadow. I want to see if the eyeshadow, if you use a cotton swab, if you can kind of like give the paper a sheen. Oh, we'll see. And then I bought some fabric. So this is way more than the 16 items. So if I did my spring garden, no, yeah, spring garden theme for this challenge, I have to pare down. So we'll come back to that in a second. Okay, next theme. <laughs> if you've been around a while, you know I love a rainbow. And at one of the Dollar Trees in their party section, they had pride stuff. They had pride flags and banners, flags. And I thought, oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to get this and I could do a rainbow themed uh, drum turtle. So they also had these felt pennants in all the rainbow colors. I love me a rainbow. And this bag, would be the cover, isn't that fun? And if I fold it like this, I think that would be a cool cover. All right, and then we have file folders and these vellum butterflies. So this could go with this or with my butterfly one, but I've never seen vellum paper before. Very cool. And then I thought these napkins were perfect. <laughs> And of course, I checked out the playing cards. So we have playing cards okay. with the different colors. And Dr. Seuss, I just thought Dr. Seuss was fun. Well, let's see what these, these are the Crayola ones. And it has the colors. Brings me back to my preschool days. But how fun. And all, all of the colors. And then they have, I think, have they double-sided? No. So you could play a matching game, probably. So those are fun. And you could copy dye those, and that would that would be fun if you wanted. I don't think I will. <laughs> and then here, <coughs> there are the Dr. Seuss ones. And then they have the words on the other side. Very cool. So that's an option. And then this I thought was perfect also to go with the rainbow theme. And I love this one with artists and it's in the rainbow colors. That was fun. And then this, if I didn't do the rainbow on the cover, I thought this would be a fun cover to do and put this on the cover. Okay, so that was the rainbow theme idea. <laughs> Aye, aye, aye. So, so far I have the farm and I have a rainbow and I have a spring. Okay. But wait, there's more. There's one more theme and then a few extra things that I wanted to show you. Are you still with me? <laughs> okay. The next one, I live in Arizona, which is the Southwest, right? And I thought, huh, I wonder if I could find stuff for a Southwest theme. And then I thought, well, if I did a Southwest theme, I could use my digital kit that I made a few years ago um, that has cactus in it, and it would be kind of fun. Again, it's breaking the rules, but it would be kind of fun. So I found these, <laughs> and they are very Southwest colors, very, very, very Southwest. And I was thinking I could take them off of the frame and make this into a cover, right? 
Okay, so that's kind of where I started. And then I found this with succulents and cactus. It's also Southwest. And then we found these. Those are more in the succulent category, but you know, it's all, it's all about the same. And then this one is farm. <coughs> Excuse me, so it'll go with the other one or the cowboy and the, the guitar. We could say that Southwest too. Um, yeah. There's the gal I was watching who has the perfect stamp and I kept looking for it. <laughs> okay, what was I saying? Oh, it had a, um, it looked like a Native American pot on the bottom and I thought, oh, that would be perfect stamp. But I didn't find it. All right, so these fabrics. I don't know if you can tell in the light, but they're perfect <laughs> for the Southwest. And then look at this. I mean, isn't that perfect? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And then I found these bandanas and I thought this one would work. It's not quite, but if I tossed in the other green colors, I think it would. The other one would be good for spring. Um, what is it? <laughs> Baker's twine and fun colors. <clears throat> And then I found these. Oh my goodness. <laughs> They're perfect. They are so perfect. I could take them off the paper clip and use them as a dangle or leave them on the paper clip. And then I found these beads. Perfect. And this ribbon. I don't know if you can tell the color, but it's that southwesterny <laughs> orangey color. Also perfect. <clears throat> And then I did this, thinking that same thought about maybe putting some on a paper <clears throat> with the shimmer. I don't know if it'll work, but I got those. And then I got these, and I want to try something with these to change the color, but they're the feathers. So we'll see if that works. And then these are more succulent looking, but close enough. And then perfect excuse me oh my gosh <laughs> that's why I don't do these videos <laughs> I start coughing burping I don't know how to act oh my gosh okay and then I have these rub-ons in gold and then look at that if I want to go boho southwest <clears throat> but that's very southwest too and these very southwest boho and then look at this coloring book what i mean who would have thought that it had <laughs> southwestern east oh look at this oh my gosh it's like meant to be yeah and then i bought this faux leather class case because i thought i could do something with the leather, faux leather, and leather and, you know, Arizona goes together. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. So that was my Southwest thing. All right, I'm still not done. Good Lord. <laughs> okay, I, I picked this up because I thought this would make an adorable journal cover. You snip here, you snip here. You might wanna take this off. <clears throat> you stitch your pages in and you have a cute little cover for a journal. Let me know if you want me to do that for you. Show you how. But another one of these packs, I thought this green was good, and then this light green for the options of themes. And then look at this. This is Southwest. I mean, I could just do a mini journal with Southwest and uh, take this out and make a little journal for spring. <clears throat> um, this one, I'm gonna make a journal out of. <laughs> Eyeglass pouch, stay tuned for that video. And I got Henny Penny, yeah, after I looked at the pictures, I was like, meh, but I was thinking spring. And this I'm actually gonna put in my flower pot. And then I might make a journal with the packet. This is the larger packet. And then I found this cute die. Not fun, you could use in any of the journals. And then the last, very last, I think, I'm coughing again. 
The very last thing are these pearl crayons. So <laughs> I'm coughing and my eyes are watering. So I'm thinking if the um, the uh, words, Kara, if the eyeshadow doesn't work, maybe these will work. <clears throat> I'm just going to color on the page. Yeah, they're not as... I'll show you. Let me color a different couple of colors. They're not as shiny and curly as I was hoping. They look just like crayons. Eh. So there you go. So maybe don't grab those. <laughs> Unless you want a color. Okay, so in the comments, after this very long, crazy video of my million dollar dollar tree haul, let me know which theme you think I should do first. Is it farm, garden, spring, butterfly, or take it apart, or southwest, or rainbow? <clears throat> I'm excited to see what you say, and then I will maybe listen to you, or maybe not. No, I'm just kidding. I'll try and listen to your comments and pick one. I kind of have one kind of that I want to do first, and then go from there. All right. Let me know if you liked a haul video from Dollar Tree for your junk journal items. All right, let me know what you think. Okay, that's all. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh, the other day I was watching YouTube. My hair is very frizzy. <laughs> I was watching the YouTube as I was crafting and I saw Paper Terrace was live and I hopped in and she was talking about a Dollar Tree challenge. <laughs> and 